Okay guys, today we're going to look at um, combining multiple scenes into one giant, one big movie. So if we've got, like over here, I've got scene 1, scene 2, scene 3. So I've got three different flash documents that I've created separately. And if I want to combine them together, um, what I'll need to do, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So if I want to combine all four scenes and make it to one big animation rather than having four separate animations, okay, we're going to use, we're going to combine them together. And to do this, we're going to use, we're going to convert our, all four of our scenes into movies. Okay, the first things first, what we need to do is open up a new file. Okay, uh, we're going to change the length to whatever size the movie is. So, let's just assume that this movie, as we know, is 900 by 600. Okay, this one is 900, so they're all 900 by 600. So, the new file that we create needs to also be width 900 and a height 600 okay once we've done that just push enter okay we don't need to change the background okay that's really done okay so now that we have that what we're going to do now is first things first press control and f8 okay once you control and, and press f8 it says create a new symbol we're going to give a symbol a name so we're going to call this scene one okay just just call it just give it a proper name scene one countdown or scene one that's fine leave it at scene one make sure it's a movie clip once you've done that click on ok ok what you'll see now is a you get a big uh, white stage ok it says here scene one that's the movie you created and it will be like a blank layer just layer one there at the moment what we're going to do now is go to scene one going to highlight all the layers in scene one so click all the layers from the top okay, hold down shift and click on the last one Okay, not including layer one. We don't want layer one in there, so sorry. I'm just going to click on so all of them. Shift. Okay. Once you've done that, right click, click copy layers, and go back to the new movie that you've created. Then you do right click and paste layers. Okay. So now what you see is all those layers and all those animations that you created in the scene one is now appeared in your new document. Okay, once you've done that, okay, layer one you don't need, so just delete that layer and then click on scene one here back to go to the main page. Okay, so now you're back to this uh, blank uh, stage now with nothing on it. What you're going to do now is you're going to do the same thing again and you're going to call this one layer scene two. Okay, so we're just going to go back to go to our blank movie, we're going to press control F8. And we're going to call this scene 2. Click OK. Okay, go to scene the document called scene 2. Going to copy all the layers over. Click to layout. Okay, right click, copy layers. Go back to the new movie. Right click, copy layers. Sorry, paste layers this time. Okay, delete layer 1. So that's a blank one that was default in there that you don't need anymore. And once you've done that, close the scene. So you're going to do this, repeat it for scene 3 and scene 4. So once I've done that, I'll just... Okay, so you're going to repeat the same thing. Hey guys, now I've done that. So now if you look at your library, all your um, documents... Sorry, all your images and sounds and all that will be there. And you notice you've got scene 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what we're going to do now to combine them... Now that we've created our four movie, we're going to combine them. So first thing we're going to do is get scene 1. Click on it, drag it onto desktop. Okay, at the moment, it's in. You need to put it in an appropriate location. So this one obviously needs to be in the right location. So that's here. Okay, so if this needs to be exactly in the center. So if to get it accurately, what you need to do is go to the X, once you click on it, click on the X axis, click zero and zero. That way, you know it's in the right location. So now if you run this, okay, even though there's only one keyframe there, what it does, it runs the movie. Okay, so now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to rename this layer, we're going to call this scene 1, layer, okay, we're going to call that scene 1, okay, and whatever the scene 1 is, so scene 1, countdown. Okay, once we've done that, uh, what we're going to do is firstly, um, then we're going to do the same thing again, okay, we're going to call scene 2, and scene 2 is open let's open, uh, let's call Merry Christmas actually, Xmas 
Okay, so the same. Well, we're not going to drag this on yet because firstly, we need to find out when um, see the first movie ends. So if we double click this, it will then open up the movie. And as, as you can see, as normal, you can edit this movie and change it as you would normally if you were to have it open. Okay, we're going to find out. Um, this scene ends at 405. So what we need to do is close this. Uh, we need to go to frame 405 on our timeline. Okay, and here we need to push F6. Okay, so now, so, oops. Actually, we need to make sure we go to scene 1 and then push F6, sorry. So we need to go to see, uh, scene 1 layer, go to frame 405, and we need to push F6. Okay, once we've done that now, what we can do is go to scene 2. Okay, we don't want to touch scene 1 anymore. Go to scene 2, go to frame 406. That's when you want the next part to start, and we'll push F6. Once you push F6, what you're going to do is drag on the next movie. Okay, so this is the second movie that you want to drag on. Once again, center it. Okay, once you've done that. Okay, if we were to run it now. Okay, if we were to run it now. What you'll see is... Even though two separate movies, they will run together. So remember, the next one starts on Merry Christmas. So if we check that out now, ready? Okay. Okay. First one's actually worked. Okay. Second one hasn't worked because what I forgot to do is the second one starts on 4 or 5 but then I need to also work out where it ends so we can extend the frames to that length so this one's 135 so what we're going to do is add uh, 135 frames to 4 or 5 which makes how much? Uh, 40, 440, 540 so what we're going to do is go to frame 540 and we're going to press F6 ok so hopefully now once it's done the first movie it should automatically play the second movie Please remember when the present appears, that's when the next movie starts. Okay, now there you go. Work correctly because as you can see, the next movie is now starting. Okay, so now that's the next movie. Now we're going to do the third movie. So, the third one, we're going to insert a new layer. We're going to call it Scene 3. Uh, opening present and then what we're going to do is going to put keyframe on 540 so F6 on 540 we're going to get scene 3 put it on just like we did before make sure it's dead center and then we're going to double click this to find out how many frames or how long this movie is so this one ends on 440 so what we need to do is go frame four, yeah, 440 it ends on so once again, press scene 1 to go back to the main, 440, so what is 540 plus 440? It's 980, so at frame 980, we're going to go to frame 980 now, 980, okay, and press F6, okay, and then the final one, final set is going to be at frame, start at 981, so F6 at 981, we're going to change the name, Scene 4 ending, and then we're going to drag scene 4 on. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we're going to place that in the right location. So, what we do is if we've got scene 4 open, we can look back at where okay, the first word appears on the corner there. Sorry, on the around this in this location. Okay, so what we're going to do is make sure is when our movie appears in the same location, that way it carries on the movie uh, in the right location. So what we need to do is find out how many frames are here. So this one ends on 225. So what we need to do is go back to scene 1, 225, add 225 to 980. So that will be 1205. So Go to frame 1205. 1205. 
yeah, 1,205, and I'm going to push F6 there. Okay, so now that we've created our movie, um, it should combine all four of those together, and once you run it, oops, okay, once you press Control, Enter, and run it, okay, that will run everything in a sequence, all four movies. So that is how you combine four separate movies into one.